So she's saying that if a patient experiences shoulder pain during a C-section and she says something to the effect that she's not touching her shoulder, that this is just a cue to the anesthesiologist to give the patients more medication. I do think in this case, it's important to understand the etiology of the pain. And if this is referred pain from the diaphragm, that's not something that neuraxial anesthesia can ever cover. Obviously, we can't numb the diaphragm. That would happen with a high spinal when the block is too high, the diaphragm is numbed and the patient won't be able to breathe if that were the case. I also wouldn't consider this to be surgical pain. It's certainly pain related to the surgery, but for example, it's not going to go away when the surgery ends. So the only option to treat this pain is with IV medication. I don't think that opioids work best for this type of pain. Plus there's all the side effects that come with IV opioids, but certainly that's an option. The best treatment I think is with NSAIDs. So what I do is first of all, explain the cause of the pain. I think that's really important to understand what's going on. And then what I usually do is I give Toradol at the end of the surgery to help with the post-op pain, but I would just go ahead and give the Toradol then and explain to them that it's not going to completely take away this pain, this referred pain from the diaphragm, just from having an abdominal surgery, but certainly should help a little bit at least.